story begins on a train. You see a black man rap into Tupac. He looks over and sees a guy sweating profusely, like he's nervous about it. The scene switches of him running super fast, like he's trying to get away for something. Then he stops in into the alleyway and he looks into the fog like it was something there. My boy was surrounded. He asked him, how do you know it's me? They threw a smoke grenade. They came out the fog spinning their bodies like Kibo, Fang or Fang. They're about to sneak attack my nigga. And then this when the battle is about to begin. The next scene started when he slammed his foot down to begin the fight. He was whooping their ass so bad. He he literally punched through this nigga head like finish him like for more to come back. He was smashing these niggas in until the ninjas started throwing knives at him. They got my boy really good, but he didn't want to back down. He had his guard up until they started jumping my boy and started stabbing him in his back. Just like pain execute knife by knife in his back. The captain threw the rope around his neck. It came out of nowhere. He finally showed himself. He started to do a combo. He dragged the man up and brought him back down and hit him with the sword and sliced off his neck. They crossed off my boy off the list. His identity unknown. They disappeared through the night. The next scene, you see a dad working on his bike. He pretends like he don't hear his kid walking right behind him. And he said, who's there? And it scares the shit out of the kid. The kid said, ah. The dad say, I went again. The kid said, um, how did you know it was me, dad? The dad said, you do not know? I got eyes in the back of my head. The son said, no. The dad said, what's up with that scary mask you got on? The kid said, it's the only eye. The kid said, I heard, I heard they scare away the demons from Japan. The mommy comes out of nowhere and says, he got that as a gift from a friend from a trip. As a souvenir. Says, your face is in a complete mess. The kid said, Onis are big baddies. And they're mean to the child. They might show up. They're gonna think you're one of them. That's if you keep wearing that crazy ass mask. The kid says to the father, can you beat them up for me? Dad said, well, they sure they look like baddies to me. The dad said to the son, he said, come on. You sure I can take them? Mama said, everything will be fine because Mama is going to take them out for you. The kid said, can you really? The Mama said, yes, really. The dad said to his son, he said, okay then, I guess dad is going to keep working on his motorcycle. We can run around when Mommy gets in over her head. Dad said to the kid, he said, do you want to help? The kid said, yeah. The Mommy said, no, I don't want you to get your clothes dirty again. The mommy said, come on and make sure you, you're home in time for dinner, honey. Up right behind her with the scariest. So the next scene, uh, it started talking about the news. The news was talking about the, the murder. And the mommy started getting worried when she mentioned the knife, how the person was killed. And she says to honey, say, do you think it is them? The kid said, it's an okay. And he fell on the couch. It was kind of fucking funny. After the dad put the, the kid to sleep, he asked his wife, what is wrong? She said, the news earlier, the how he was killed, do you think? Then the father said, oh, Mari. She said not to mention the victim. They have zero insight into his personal life. Even after interviewing a bunch of people he worked with, he says that's not out of the ordinary these days. Everything's fine. No one's going to find us out here. She said, are you sure? What about the Reaper? He says, don't worry about the Reaper. Besides, this definitely wasn't his work. You know he always worked alone. He said to her, please, just relax. It's smooth sailing for us from here on out. She said, thanks, bae. Scene cuts to them spending time together and the dad is going right behind them, making sure that they, they cannot be tracked. Then, later, the scene cuts to um, they're watching the news. It's been a, the fourth murder this week. That's what the mommy said now. And the, you can tell on the dad's face he got worried. The next scene cuts to the son's birthday. The guy is out there grilling, you know. Then the son said, you're you're burning it. The mama said, um, I know you should have let me did it. I do better than you. Fast forward, the mama brings out the cake for the, the son to make his wish. The son was really happy and he blew out the candles. He made his wish and... After that, the, the all of them grabbed around the campfire 
and the dad starts singing, playing on his guitar, and the scene switches to of them in bed, and the father is cannot sleep. He sent something wrong. He gets up, and his wife calls out to him, honey. He says, um, everything's gonna be all right, honey. He started taking a trip down downstairs, walking by toe by toe, and he started to look around and left from right, and he looks at, at the window, and he's seeing something strange. Like, what, why, what is that light right there? Like, he knew something was there. It was looking right at him, and they broke through the glass. Then they started to attack my boy. My boy step game all the attack and cutting through these boys like paper. He's jumping off the ceiling, messing up with these people, cutting their necks until he heard his son call his name. He said, Daddy! He stopped for a split second and started running the other way. But a ninja came out of nowhere, tried to sneak attack him. They fight for a quite second, then he kicked him out the way and ran up the stairs. It was pinned to the wall. He threw some needles at him. And he got serious hurt. He started crawling up the stairs trying to make it to his wife and kid. When he got up the stairs, it was already too late. He saw a lot of blood. He saw his his son and his wife already dead. And while he was distracted looking at them, a ninja came right behind him and stabbed him right in his heart. The next scene switches of him being on the operator. He wakes up back up from the dead. And to realize that he lost everything. His family is dead. He started to throw up. And he passed out. Next scene. He wakes up in the hospital bed. The nurse is looking at him. He said he awoken. Go get the doctor. The doctor comes in the room. He said yo. He said you came back from the dead. And the main character acts like. What about my son and my wife? And the, the doctor paused for a slight sake. He said no. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. He started to cry. Then fast forward, the detectives came into the room and they walked past the doctor. The doctor said, don't try. They walked over to his bed and asked him, try to ask him a few questions. The, the main character did not respond. Scene switches to the rooftop. You got the detective hiding behind, um, hiding behind something, watching his back while he's sitting there looking out into the moon. But at the same time, he knew something was coming. The ninja started to try to attack him. He... He got out his wheelchair and whooped the hell out the asses. He beat him bad. Then he showed his technique, bro. And he disappeared in the black smoke and appeared right in front of them. He took off seven of their heads. And then she said, what the hell is going on? And she tried to run through the corner and he, he backhanded her ass. The next scene is in the hallway. He's stabbing the shit out of this guy. He's asking, how did you find us? And how do you know it was me? You said you can go ahead and, and change your appearance all you want. It doesn't matter how you try to hide. There is no way that you can escape your fate. The main character peels off his disguise. And he gets ready and lifts up the knife in his hand and stabs it into him. The next scene cuts of him looking at his wife for the last time. The next scene, the main character comes back home and have memories flowing back to him he looked at his house for the last time when he get, he set fire to it and he started to walk away to set his journey on his revenge if you like this hit the like button subscribe and comment that i want the next one